and g'day, how are you? This is Tom Batty here, and today we have uh, a few extra guests with us today. The first guest of notice, very special one, has joined us all the way from Oak Flats. This is Millie. Yeah. Um, hi, hi, Millie. Hi. We also have... Ella. And... Charlie. And today we are talking about the Trinity, because at church, we're, that's what we're kind of looking at at the moment. And so the three things that we need to know about the Trinity, uh, number one is that... The three persons of the Trinity are distinct, okay? So the Father is distinct from the Son, who is distinct from the Spirit. Okay, that's the first one. The second one to know is that all three are God. The Father is God, the Son is God, and the Holy Spirit is God. And then the third truth that we need to know is that these three are one, okay? That's what we need to know. The three are distinct, the three are God, and the three are one. That's all we need to know about the Trinity. And so in order to make it kind of understandable to the youth of today, that's you, uh, I thought we might talk about how, a few illustrations from both the Marvel Universe and from Harry Potter. So um, we were chatting about them before. Um, okay. Which one? How about we start with the Marvel Universe? Okay. Um, Ella, uh, tell us about uh, one of the characters in uh, the Marvel Universe who you reckon is kind of like the Trinity. The Hulk. Okay. In what way? Because he's like two people in like one. Yeah. So he like can be really, really rage and like then like ten seconds later can be like the smartest person ever. Yeah, perfect. And so so that's like the Trinity. Mm-hmm. Except that it's only it's two people. Yeah, no, it's the well it's only one person, it's not that they're distinct. Mm-hmm. And yeah, yeah. If the Hulk had a third a Yeah, that's right. If the if the Hulk had a third personality then he still couldn't be all three at once. So, yeah, that's right. So that kind of fails in the end. Um, is there another one from the Marvel Universe? Groot. Yeah. So, Guardians of the Galaxy. Groot always says... I am Groot. Yeah, he is one, okay? So that, that's kind of fun. Until at the very end... Sorry, spoiler alert. He says... We are Groot. Yeah. He changes his vocabulary. Uh, and so how is that like the Trinity? Um... Because he's like saying one thing for like the whole time and then he like changes it. So he's like still like one but not same. Yeah, yeah. So it kinda gets at that idea yeah. that that yeah, there there's a, a connection between the many and the one, but you can't he can't be the one and the three at the same time. He has to go through a bit of a, a change. I don't wanna ruin the plot though. Um, yeah. Uh, let, let's switch gears and think about um, Harry Potter. Are there any illustrations, Charlie, from Harry Potter uh, that can kind of help us understand the Trinity? Deathly Hallows. Okay. What is a Deathly Hallow? Um, the Deathly Hallows are, is three things that represents a story. It's the cloak, the Elder Wand, and the Resurrection Stone. Um, it all makes a triangle with a line and a circle in it. Okay. Um, and, like... The whole story, it's like the, tri- the Trinity, I think, is that how you say it? Yeah, yeah. Um, it's like the t- Trinity because it's three things that make up one story. Yeah, okay, so there's a, a unity three to them. Three different things. Yeah, that's right. Um, but do they have a personality in each one? No, not really. Yeah, so you got a special theme, just not no, a person. Really. Yeah, yeah, so you kind of miss out on that. So it still doesn't, doesn't quite make it. We were talking before about another one that, as it is actually a little bit more lively, mm-hmm. um, what was the other example from Harry Potter that we thought of? Um, Fluffy. Little Fluffy. Yeah. The three-headed dog. Yeah. Um, and how is he like the Trinity? Because he's got three heads, and each head represents a different personality of the dog. Mm. So, like, one head, I forget what they're specifically named, except one head's, like, kind of more tired, one's more excited. One's more energetic. Or yeah, something. yeah. And so that it, it really captures that idea that all three are separate and distinct until you realise that they're connected to the body. Yeah. And then it's like uh, they're not actually. Um, and so that it kind of, in the end, isn't like it. Um, is there any more examples that we thought of? Yeah. Um, the three main characters, Harry, Ron, and Hermione. Yeah. How um, there's three people that go into one distinct friend group. Um, Ron is, like, just the person that kind of tags along and helps Harry. Spoiler alert. <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> and helps Harry. So he's kind of like the Holy Spirit. Yep. Um, <laughs> Hermione is really, really smart. So it's kind of like God. Yep. And Harry is just the chosen one. So it's like Jesus. And mm. Just so, so that works in terms of you get three distinct personalities, but it falls down because they're not really one, 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 one. and so yeah, yeah, three different people. Yeah, I guess what we're trying to say is that no matter what illustration you look at, they all ultimately fail because nothing is like the Trinity. The Trinity is three things: the three are distinct, the three are God, and the three are one. Catch you next time, Harbour Youth. <laughs>